that game last night, man, was uh, – we know how it was for Bears fans. What was it like to be a right. part of? Uh, what was it like to be a part of it? Um, I feel like it's – it's one of those things where it's like you get so used to like being so close. You get so used to okay, like now we got it. We gonna turn it around. We gonna get the W and then kind of having that that letdown um, definitely hurts. I feel like more and more the more um, that it happens, the more that it occurs. Um, so I mean, I feel like really just as a competitor, you just want to find the reason why. Uh, Cause I feel like even before I was out there just losing some close games, um, it just like. There's just something that that needs to be done, something that needs to be changed, needs to be fixed. I don't. I. I mean, there's really no clear answer. I feel like, but it's just something that we all need to look ourselves in the mirror and figure out how what we can do to make this team better and ultimately win ball games. Because I mean, it's for me, it's one of those things where it's, I'm I'm tired of hearing, "Oh, we're getting better, we're going in the right direction," but we keep losing. Like that's not getting better in the sense that it's going to keep keep our jobs. Getting better isn't going to get anybody paid or anything like that. I feel like we got to win games. We got to be winners. So I feel like really for us, I feel like as players and as a team, we we want to win. We want to figure it out. Um, but, I mean, like I said, you just got to really look, look yourself in the mirror, watch the tape, and just find ways to win at the end of the day. So that that matches what your quarterback said last night when he was very frustrated at the podium and said, tired of hearing that we're close. So is that something that you guys feel collectively as a team? It's interesting to hear you know you as as one of the leaders on the defense and him talking about it from the offense perspective. Uh, did did the coach tell you guys you're close last night? Hard to hear. Yeah, that's definitely something that um, we hear. And I mean, just I mean, as a coach too, you want to stay positive. But I feel like also it's one of those things where at some point we got to put our foot down and we got to be competitors. Um, and we got to win ultimately. I feel like that, that's our job. That's why they were brought in here. They weren't brought in here just to make players better, but of course to win games too at the end of the day. Um, and I mean, we're all process driven and we want to get better, but I feel like we need to, we need to win some games. So I feel like that, that's what it's all about for us. J- Jalen, your daughter is adorable. so cute. Oh, thank you. This uh, is don't mind her little bows right now. She's, she's still sti- waking up. She's sticking her tongue out at the camera on Twitch and dancing around. Oh. It reminds me of when Steph Curry brought uh, – Remember when he brought Riley Curry? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, up to oh, the no, podium. She's definitely self <sighs> self centered. She can see herself, so that's why she that. <laughs> well, this is the most that we've smiled all day. Easily. Look well, at you. And, and now we're not going to ask you any tough questions. How do you ask a man tough questions with a girl like that on his lap? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's very, well done. That's, well done. Yeah, that's, it's a good defense mechanism. No, but it's it is interesting, man. Like you, it's like Matt Eberflus wants to be positive, but it sounds like you're like eh. That that message only goes so far. Like that that's right. a, that that is a real thing that fans appreciate. Uh, is there a risk of a coach saying that something is good when you guys know that it is not good? Um, I feel like it's not. I feel like it's one of those things where, not the fact that he's being positive. Um, I feel like it's just more so because I mean. I, I feel like the last, for the last three weeks now, it's been one of those things where we've had opportunities to capitalize and we didn't capitalize. Now, throughout the duration of the game, I think there was some things that we did good on all three phases. Um, but I feel like they, at some point there was always a letdown, I would say, at the, at the wrong time um, on all three phases of the, uh, of the game. Um, I feel like we just got to figure out how to avoid those letdowns when it when it really matters. Um so I feel like it's not him being positive is not the right message, but it's just we gotta find a way to execute when the game is on the line. What was the letdown on defense? We've been praising the defense like crazy today. I mean we put we gonna we gonna always put the pressure on us, put it on us. And I feel like at the at the end, uh, when we had that fumble um in the goal line, I feel like we our expectation is to hold them three. Um, so, I mean, just even as tough as that is, holding the team to three uh, three points and a field goal, I feel like it, it's tough. But I feel like it's something that we can do and we have done. Um, and I feel like even holding us to a field goal would give us a better chance. But kind of yeah, giving that touchdown kind of changes the game. But I do feel like overall we played a really, really good game. You could tell that um, Valus Jones was so down at that at that moment after that fumble. 
And on TV, we saw Justin Fields go over and talk to him and try to try to keep him perked up. That's a good leadership moment there. Um, what, what does it mean when a when when a veteran or, you know or when a player like that is hell? Justin's a veteran, Develis. But when a player like that comes over and tries to help you feel better after a big mistake, what can that mean, Jalen? Um, I mean, I, I guess it's one of those things where it's like we know that we're human. We know that we're not perfect. Um, and we've always been, and we all been in those moments. I mean, I feel like even as a rookie, it's worse um, coming in trying to establish yourself in this league. Um, but I mean, I feel like there's not, I don't think there's not one player that hasn't been in that moment that hasn't gave up a player that they, that they would want back. So I mean, CD, <laughs> I think it's just one of those things where he was just trying to be there for him. And not even trying, he was being there for him and letting them know that you still have a lot more football to play. You still got a lot a lot more to do, and I feel like it's, it's, it's bigger than just one play, but just trying to keep him in the right spirits moving forward. We're talking to Jalen Johnson here, Parkinson Spiegel, on the score. Were either of those good pass interference calls at the end of the half? No, not at all. <laughs> I feel like Kyler, he got his head back, um, and I feel like that, that there was no I – don't, I don't see where they called his at, but even mine, I feel like it was – I'm not going to say that I didn't tug, but it's, I feel like at some point if a guy is – pushing into me or and trying to bump me off. I feel like there has to be some leniency on me being able to protect myself from from that contact somewhat. I don't think it was egregious. I don't think it was something that genuinely hindered him from running his route. I think it was equal equal contact on both sides. So I feel like that was something that could have been let go. The uh Ewan McLaurin, like he's he's a very good receiver, obviously. I and mean, we talked about Jefferson and those guys. What was it like to be matched up with a player like him in your first game back? No, no, it was definitely a, a good matchup for sure, especially that first game back, not going against a, a real wide receiver, not having a real look since the last game I played in. So, I mean, just having that look in itself, um, being one of the top receivers in the league was definitely a good challenge. Um, and really, I feel like for me, just really getting back my footing and things like that, I feel like drills are only – so good. I thought like you got to get back to competing and seeing wide receivers, seeing things come at you full speed um, and different things like that. But I thought like overall, I thought like I did a really good job against him, did a really good job competing throughout the duration of the game. You guys were talking after that P.I. I saw him nodding his head like, oh, yeah, you got me. And you're like, no. I mean, what was that conversation uh, right there at that moment? Uh, it was just one of those things where he was like you, and he was just saying like you know you held me, and I was just like, like come on, that's not that. I know you're not gonna really want that. Like that was something that you think stopped you from catching the ball. I don't. I, I think it was bigger than that hold. I thought it was good coverage, and it was a bad ball anyway. I don't think the ball is gonna be catchable anyway. But I mean, I feel like as a wide receiver, you always gonna want those calls. Um, but but I don't, I don't, I, don't, I clearly didn't agree with him or the <laughs> Did you follow him around at all from side to side last night, Jalen, or, or or were you were you uh, landlocked? I just uh, I think that he really just happened to be on on my side. I think that's the side that he plays more side so, more so than not. Um, but no, I, I wasn't messed up. I stayed on one side. I'm talking to Jalen Johnson, uh, you know when these these standalone games, right? Thursday night football, Monday night football, Sunday night football. When everyone watches. It's when all of the national media watches and comments on the team. And when it's kind of an ugly game like that and it's 12 to 7, there's going to be these, you know, there's going to be these opinions that come out about the game. Tony Gonzalez at halftime said, we can't even call this the JV game. It's like the freshman game. Does that stuff piss you guys off? I mean, as a defense, I'm saying no. Nah, because, I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is an offensive world. Everybody wants to see touchdowns. Nobody wants to see good defense. Nobody wants to see three and outs. Everybody wants to see the ball move. Everybody wants to see the highlight, one hand catches, touchdowns. I mean, from that perspective, I feel like that's what 90% of the world wants to see when they see a primetime game. They want to see those type of plays. Nobody comes to I, – I would say nobody comes really to, to see the defense. So, I feel like – for us on our side of the ball, I feel like for the defense, I feel like we put on a real good display of uh, of defense. And yes, baby. I'm hungry. Okay, hold on, baby. <laughs> that <laughs> that is, I mean, I feel like we just did it. We did a really good job uh, on on defense, and I feel like that's not entertaining to people. Um, but I mean, I feel like overall, there's there's some give and take in that. 
That is Zavea Nicole. Did I say it right? Is it Zavea? Indeed. No, that was perfect. All right. Zavea Nicole um, and Zizi, as you're calling her. She's adorable. She wants something to eat. What is it? Do, oh, mac, yeah. mac and cheese, hot dog. What are we going to do? Yeah. She might get some chips right now, but I mean, she said she wanted some chicken nuggets and french fries earlier. So I don't know what she wants right now. She's a little all over the place. Yeah. Well, well, well the, the daughter and the dog is this week's uh, smoke detector. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no no smoke detector at home in the new in the spot in California. In Cali, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, no, no. I'm good with that. A little something different this time. No, we appreciate it. I'll tell you what, Jalen. This this felt familiar last night to Bears guys like us who've like watched for a long time and talked about it for a long time. We've had a lot of real good defenses in this town with struggling offenses and young quarterbacks trying to figure it out, and it's like. It, and and usually what happens is we end up wondering, man, is that defense going to be all right? Will they ever get mad at the offense? Hell, going back to 85, <laughs> the 85 Bears, you know, the 85 Bears would be like, damn it, we, we got the ball turned over again, and then the offense doesn't do anything with it. So right. so, so is there is there any danger of that happening on, uh, on, your, on your football team? Like a defense that plays well, frustrated with an offense that can't punch it in. Um, I would say naturally there is some frustration. Um, but I feel like really at the end of the day, it comes down to I mean, we're not gonna always play play a game like that where we really shut down a team. Um and I feel like there's gonna be some times where we need the offense to bail us out. I feel like in the last few weeks the offense picked it up and even I mean, our goal is never let somebody score over twenty points, but I feel like in the game last week against the Vikings, um the offense held their own. They had they created enough points to where now I feel like it was on us to get some stops. Um, so, I mean, I feel like there's going to be games where we pick them up and then we have to pick them up. So, I mean, it's never going to be one of the things where we put them down or we're not doing a good game, having a good game, they put us down or anything like that. I feel like we we know what's going to come um, throughout the duration of this long season. Nobody's going to play a perfect game. Um, so, really just trying to stay all on the same page together. Did you notice your quarterback getting hit as much as he did and getting up every single time? So oh, tough. That hurt. That, that's a tough that young man. Me. That's a tough young man. It yeah. hurt you? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Especially the one where the dude kind of went low and it almost looked like he hyperextended his knee and different things like that. It's just like, dang, he's out there taking a beat and he's getting up slow. I mean, that's never pleasing for anybody to see going, their quarterback going through. How tough is he? Oh, very tough, dude. He kept getting back up. Yeah. And, and he drove him down. He drove him down. Like, that scramble, yeah. that scramble was outrageous. And I think his last two throws were real good, too. That was that close to a win, Jalen. That close. Right. Oh, yeah. I mean, it really just shows, shows his fight. Also, the hmm. Oh, did we just lose him? Might have. He just dropped his phone. I watched him drop his phone. He's <laughs> he good. So oh, he tried to drop his phone. phone. <laughs> this is amazing. You there, man? Jalen, you there, man? Oh, it's, he muted right, it. Man. You there, Jalen? We got you? I think he might have hit mute on I think, the phone. Yeah, he hit he hit mute. I can see him in the in the screen with his daughter playing with the phone when he dropped on the table. I hope people are watching on Twitch. She is adorable, and he is such a good dude for setting up Twitch and the phone at home in He's Cali. Back. Incredible, Jalen. We were just praying, like, thank you for your your commitment to coming on and setting up Twitch and everything. Um, it's it's really appreciated by us and by the listeners. Oh, no, it's all good. It's all good. But now what I was saying was I feel like it really just shows, too, like Justin's strength and also just the work that he puts in off the field for his body to be able to take those blows, for his body to be able to keep bouncing back and making those plays. I feel like it's just a testament to his resiliency and also his hard work that he puts in off the field as well. So do you guys look at this as, you know, obviously the Packers game was was lopsided. We talked about that. You wore the cheese head. But, right. like, the <laughs> – sorry to bring that up again. No, you good, you good. Uh, but, like, the Giants game, one possession. Right. Vikings game, one possession. You had the ball at the end. Uh, and then last night, one possession. You had the ball at the end inside the five-yard line. In an alternate universe, you guys are 5-1 and one right now. Right. Do you think about that, or is that something that you guys discuss about how close you are? Yeah, that's really the message. Really, it's crazy. Like after every after every is one of those losses, it's one of those things where it's like, man, like we're so close. Like there are some things that, of course, we need to clean up, but it's like it's not like we're far off that we're just getting completely dominated, that we're getting blew out of the water, and we don't have a we haven't had a shot to win any, any of these games. 
Um, so I feel like that's really that's what hurts more the fact that we're so close, but we haven't been on on that side of on that side of the line of the of the winning side. So I mean, it's really for us trying to figure out what we can do to to get on that right side. And then last thing for me, Jalen, uh, it was the first time we got to see you and Kyler and Kendall and Jaquan and Eddie all together. That's five young dudes in a secondary. How good can that full secondary group be as you play more together? I thought the sky's the limit really for us because I feel like we all complement each other really well. I feel like we all have different strengths. And I feel like just the more that we play together, the more that we bond and really gel and go through these hard times, go through the good times and really know who we are as a secondary, who we can be, how to make each other better and different things like that. I feel like there's, there's nothing that we can't do in, in the future. I feel like we can eventually work our way to be one of those top defensive uh defensive back rooms for sure hey um can you put zavea nicole on the phone real quick can we just tell her something real quick here <laughs> hey. uh, you don't want to talk to him <laughs> <laughs> i just uh, tell her she's a you're very cute and we thank you thank you for your they, daddy's time they said, thank you they said bye-bye you want to say bye-bye yeah. say bye-bye gotta wave say bye-bye <laughs> no Jaylen. You gotta say bye bye to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 